Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some super interesting cut content that has been found in Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA Online. That's right, every now and then I like to look back at some of the content that didn't make its way into GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, and there's always a possibility that this stuff uh, that we're going to be talking about in this video could come into the game going forward. It just hasn't come yet, and it's been found by a lot of members on the GTA Forums website, so big credit to them. I'll also include a link in the description if you want to look into this more for yourself. But with all the way, let's get into some of the interesting cut content that didn't make its way into GTA 5. All right, so starting off, we've actually got six interesting contact pictures that are not found in the game. And these contact pictures are actually what you see on your phone. Like when you dial up someone, you see a little profile picture. So there's actually six of them. First one is DIA Lenny. You have Love Fist, Maxim, Melvin, Victim, and Karen. And there's a few that we should recognize right off the bat. One of those being Maxim. That's actually one of the beta photos for Maxim Rakoshki, who was the guy that you broke out of the Bolingbrook Penitentiary in the second heist mission. You also should recognize Karen, the IAA agent uh, from the campaign and also from one of the heist missions in that game. And you should also recognize the band Love Fist, which actually doesn't make an appearance per se in Grand Theft Auto V, but their personality and persona is there. Maybe there was a cut mission that involved some of the members of the band. I'm really not too sure how that would work. But there's three pretty mysterious ones. One of them is Lenny, the other one Melvin, and Victim. Victim and Lenny have me the most confused because I know Melvin was brought up uh, during one of the cut heist missions that we talked about a few months ago. So I'm really not too sure what to make of these contacts. Some of them sound pretty interesting, especially Love Fist and Victim. That's definitely a little creepy. Uh, so I really do wonder what Rockstar had planned for these contacts and what we would do with them in game. But hopefully, maybe they'll either be added through a DLC or maybe some other expansion to Grand Theft Auto V. But let's move on. Up next, we've got what looks to be a cut submachine gun from the game, and that is actually the MP7. Now, if you go to any one of the movie theaters in game, you can actually select a movie that features police officers chasing some sort of monkey. I believe that's what the movie's about. Uh, and the officers are wielding an MP7, or at least some of them are. And we know that that was cut from the game. There is obviously no MP7 in the submachine guns category, which is pretty interesting. Not saying I would love to see another submachine gun added. We've got plenty of those in Grand Theft Auto Online, but it would have been a cool addition to the game. Maybe it was replaced by another submachine gun, or maybe it was just cut at the last minute. Up next are some cut face paints that actually didn't make their way into the game. There are four of them. They're pretty interesting, and they all kind of revolve around sporting events. So maybe that was cut when sporting features really didn't come into Grand Theft Auto V. This first one is a half blue face, half white face with a martini glass over the left eye. The next one is the Los Santos Panic logo, which is over this lady's left eye. The next one is kind of like a carnival or Batman kind of style mask. And the final one is just simply two black dashes under each eye. You oftentimes see sporting event players or players wearing that in like baseball and football games to shield the eyes or their eyes from the sun. So those are pretty cool face paints. Obviously, some of them are a little bit more uh, unique than others, but still pretty cool. Now, there was actually a contact that was cut from Grand Theft Auto Online specifically, and it was actually an army character. You can see this is what his contact looks like, and the model was actually found in-game by Metal Z DKI on the GTA Forums website. So you can see he's got a full model, and he's got some pretty full characteristics as well, including accessories and necklaces on his neck. You can see tattoos as well. So it looks like Rockstar did a little bit more detail than just normal NPCs get uh, for this character. So I'm not sure why he wasn't used in GTA Online. My guess is that he had something to do with Fort Zancudo. Maybe it was a heist mission or maybe it's going to be something we see down the line. I wish Rockstar would utilize the army and Fort Zancudo a little bit more than they do. So maybe eventually we will see this cut army character because that would be cool to have some militarized or military-esque style missions that we get to do in Grand Theft Auto Online. Up next, we've actually got something interesting that might suggest that at one time we were able to enter the food establishments around Los Santos. There's a bunch of photos for foods that we currently cannot consume in game. I believe it's like tacos and also hamburgers. And there's also like equipment that can be seen for items that you would either see and like a clucking bell or a fast food restaurant that you would only be able to see if you like actually went inside of the store. So again, 
I'm not sure if Rockstar had plans to do it like they did in GTA 4, where you're able to go inside to the restaurants and eat and regain health that way, or if there was a mission in there, but it looks like all those missions or features were cut. Once again, I don't know why Rockstar decided it would be a bad idea to be able to go inside more buildings. If anything, I think that's a better idea. But yeah, it looked like a lot of content was cut from food establishments, or at least being able to go into restaurants like the Cluckin' Bell. And finally, last but not least, there was a cut outfit and mask from the heist update. Here you can see the mask. It's very similar to other masks we have in the game. It's just red. It takes off that hockey style mask and it is a bright orange -ish red. And you also have another outfit, what looks to be just a gray silverish jacket. I'm not exactly sure what is unique about this outfit, but nonetheless, it was cut from the heist update. Anyways, that's all the information that I have for you guys today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you want to check out all the information for yourself, I'll leave a link to the thread in the description so you can check that out. Once again, if you did go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like rating by hitting that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. But more importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.